Hello guys and welcome back to the F1 Tube YouTube channel. Now Ferrari stirred up a lot of controversy after their team orders debacle at yesterday's Russian Grand Prix. And today I'm going to deep into the whole scenario and give my verdict on what they did wrong. The first point I do want to make though is that Ferrari did not lose the Russian Grand Prix through the team orders situation. They lost the Russian Grand Prix through Vettel retiring and the virtual safety car working to Mercedes advantage. Yes you could say George Russell would still have had a big accident this and that but from what we could infer from Vettel's retirement was more pivotal than the team orders. We all know the scenario. Ferrari asked Vettel multiple times to let Charles Leclerc through after the German jumped up to P1 on the opening lap. But the pre-race agreement within Ferrari stated that Charles Leclerc was going to engineer Sebastian Vettel past himself to take the lead on the first lap. And this one decision, in my opinion, pretty much catalyzed the whole team order situation because it could be interpreted in many different ways. Ferrari claimed that Vettel only got passed because one of the slipstream but more importantly Charles Leclerc did not defend from the German but Vettel himself remarked that he would have got past Leclerc even if the Monegasque would have tried to defend from him and this pre-race agreement did not need to happen. Firstly we all know the nature of the first lap at Sochi. Slipstream is immensely powerful. And there are different races like Spa where Slipstream is powerful on the first lap right down the Kemmel Straight. And in my opinion, it's a part of Formula 1. Slipstreaming on the first lap trying to get past is a part of the sport. Deal with it. And in the way this Grand Prix went, he still would have had Leclerc. 40 plus laps to get past Vettel. But another thing about this Ferrari situation, I'm pretty certain when Ferrari proposed these ideas in terms of team orders for the race, they had no clue that Sebastian Vettel would have that much pace that he delivered yesterday. They were thinking, in my opinion, that it was going to unfold a lot like Bahrain. Leclerc out qualifies Vettel in qualifying, but in the Grand Prix, even if he loses a place on the first lap, he will be able to breeze past. But that wasn't the case, was it? Sebastian Vettel was able to pull clear of Charles Leclerc three to four seconds. And that showed that Vettel certainly had the pace to win. But this is the thing. Ferrari overcomplicated it. This was not the same scenario in which Mercedes dealt with the Russian Grand Prix last year. Neither of their drivers are competing for the World Championship. Vettel and Leclerc are competing to be the number one driver at Ferrari. Team orders is certainly not going to help. And I said this yesterday, Mercedes or this Grand Prix just exposed Ferrari's flaws, their lack of leadership. Because you've quite simply got pointless team orders, drivers that haven't really been sticking by what the team have said and who really is running the team. Because all it takes is Mattia Bonotto or any of the Ferrari hierarchy to tell the drivers to knuckle down and get on with it. In my opinion, a perfect way to get not necessarily a lead driver, but one driver ahead of another within the same team is through what Ferrari did in the end pit stops because it's a win-win at the end of the day you are going to be gaining time either in the first stint or at the end of the race through tyres and when the driver in front has to relinquish a position they are backing off gets the dirty air and loses a heap of time that is all it takes I am just so perplexed to why Ferrari would enforce team orders at the end of the day, like I said, neither driver is competing for the World Championship. What are Ferrari going to gain from enforcing team orders? Now, what would I have done if I was team principal? I would quite simply let Charles and Seb race. I would not have enforced any team orders and I would not have devised any pre race agreement because Ferrari overcomplicated it and that creates friction and tension. But moving on to the forthcoming Grand Prix, who really is the number one driver at Ferrari because they favoured Charles Leclerc undoubtedly in Russia 
and it wasn't even the case that Leclerc was quicker in the Grand Prix. It was so, so evident and obvious that Ferrari wanted Leclerc ahead. Now, they said it was because the two had identical starts and Vettel just gained an unfair advantage. But like I said, it's the nature of lap one at Sochi. No, I don't believe that Leclerc mucked up his start because at the end of the day his initial start was very very similar to Vettel's and the gap going through turn one was basically identical from their starting grids from first to third. Vettel did benefit from the slipstream and he adhered to the pre-race agreements. But this is the whole thing just being so unnecessary. It's a part of Sochi for goodness sake as I keep on repeating. Vettel if he was to get a decent start, was always going to have a run at Leclerc. And once he was out in front, he was quicker. End of. But guys, that is it for today's video. Please like this video, comment down below what you thought of Ferrari's whole team order situation and how they could have dealt with it, as well as my opinions. And please subscribe to the F1Tube YouTube channel for more content like this. But until next time, guys, see you later.